What's up guys, Bird Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we've been doing a lot of testing this morning on Taylin to see what she can do, and to be honest, her ultimate is surprisingly good because one thing you don't really notice is that if you have a ton of healing on her, she just continues to cast her ultimate because it says consumes 12.5% of her max HP and 250 energy energy second to shoot 5 tile flame. Very big AoE, dealing damage and extra damage uh, of her lost HP to enemies within range. Taylene can cast the skill even without energy, but the HP consumed goes up to 20%. So it goes to a higher percentage, but if you have a crazy amount of healing, this gets crazy. And in combination with things like this, she increases her attack when she consumes HP. Uh, on top of that, she's also healing. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is kind of crazy and dealing damage. Like, it's this crazy, crazy cycle. And I want to show you guys something uh, that's really, really fun. If you have enough healing, it's really amazing. Now, this team right here is a little bit overkill because we have, like, Freya's doing it too. And sorry for, like, the quality too. Like, for some reason, since this update, the game has been laggy as hell hell like it's been bad like really really bad uh so here's what i want to do we're basically running a smoky freesto haywin damien composition here uh and i'm going to show you what happens because taylene literally gets to just continue casting her ultimate forever we have to wait till she gets to her ultimate but then once she does she's going to start casting and watch her hp bar right here it's dipping down going up dipping down going up it's just like absolutely insane and it kind of just bugs out after a while too like the amount of damage she can do is pretty nuts if she has healer support with her so smoky was already a really good strategy and if you can run heroes that can keep the team alive even without like a freesto this can get pretty nutty so what would a good hero be here honestly throwing in another hero and not even a tank here i mean we can just throw an Aaron, i guess right just chuck him in here because why not right because that'll give us an aura or a faction bonus god it's so laggy right now i don't know if anybody else has experienced this too but we have so much healing that if the, i don't know if it's going to work at like crazy high deficits but at the very least having this many healers on the team means like no one's dying and then on top of that you see Taylene's energy dipping but her health just keeps going like again as long as she has healing and she doesn't go down to what 10 percent hp she's just gonna continue to cast this ultimate skill the entire battle she didn't stop once she casted that and running a full healer team could be pretty intriguing god this is killing me how laggy this game is that damage is nuts so i guess you could even run like a granny honestly like not i mean because Aaron doesn't really do much you could probably just run a granny if you wanted to uh and again you're still getting that faction bonus i love running the cascade spell to get haywin to an ultimate very quickly too that way you get damage reduction you get healing you get all those really nice things all put together and we just have so much aoe healing right here between smoky damon or damien and uh haywin that like <laughs> it's just stupid it is so stupid but i love this combo how far into deficit this can push i don't know but if you're running smoky anyway this is a pretty good strategy because as you guys know you want to run smoky so if you just run like some extra support heroes to keep them alive that's already what you're normally doing this could be pretty busted and beyond that you know what you know what we could actually i, I mean you're probably like the 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 best pushing team is probably gonna look something like this what you're gonna put the smoky there there you're probably not even running damien and you're probably not even running a, a specific faction I bet what you're doing is adding a Rowan in here. Like, putting an additional Rowan for more energy feed is probably what most people are going to do here. Smokey's kind of in a bad spot. We don't have the Aaron, though, to, like, group the, uh, the enemies up, which is the big issue here. But we're feeding even more energy, which means technically Taylene's going to get more energy, too, which means she's going to probably take less health and... We got the really big potion. Actually, she just recasted her ultimate. She didn't even have to keep going because she got the energy back. And look, the energy just keeps spiking up. And then she just cast it again. <laughs> so it's even more damage. 
Twitch, I guess. Oh, Lord, this is kind of insane. If only the game wasn't so laggy, this would be even more enjoyable today. I'm going to just push as far as I can with this team later today to see what type of deficit pushing we can get to. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff we need to talk about here. Because you can see my camera is moving smooth. It's the game that's laggy as hell. So there's a couple things to note that I want to talk about with this hero. One thing, when it comes to PvP, which will have a full breakdown video on it, uh, Scarleta seems even more necessary in PvP now simply due to the fact that she can yeet her off the battlefield. She wham, slams her down. Taylene's gone, she cannot revive. Much like she can do it with Thorin, she can do it with Igor, she can do it with a lot of those heroes. It is the same with her. So this is really, really interesting because if she can just push them off the battlefield, that's just absolutely disgusting. Just just absolutely, absolutely crazy. Um, so Scarleta becomes more necessary in PvP because Taylene is going to have quite an influence, I think, on PvP. Um, you're going to see some pretty crazy teams, I think, popping up here that might actually... like You might start seeing Celestial Hypogen teams specifically that can do some crazy stuff here. Which is really good. The other thing is it also is going to raise value of magic damage dealers. So you guys know Odie and Alsa are like two of the best magic damage dealers in the game. Adding Taylene as the support for that type of team can be really nuts. And then running something either like Satrana, who of course in season gives additional magic damage by 20%. Uh, beyond that, she also grants sparks to allies and they deal damage three times. They get more burning damage based on their uh max hp and stuff which is really really cool uh and of course the other one that can be a really good synergy not you man this lag is killing me cassidy too because you know cassidy synergizes very well with magic damage dealers and this could be very very good especially if you put tidal strength on the tailene i think could be really really awesome so there's a lot of things we do need to test First impression is very good. A uh, little spoiler as well for you. I took the time on one of my other accounts and I got a single copy of her, which we will highlight. Even a single copy does good because let's be honest, you don't really need Mythic Plus on her. Like you really don't uh, because the Mythic Plus makes her better for, all, for stuff like Dream Realm where you put this Pyre of Renewal on one of your allies that does damage because you put it in the front most allied hero uh, and it basically means that they're going to do additional damage per second to adjacent enemies and restore HP to them, uh, which is really, really good. So very, very strong. But in reality, her main kit is there from a single copy, which I think is probably the best thing about this hero so far. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Taylene is here. She is going to shake up the meta for sure. And the fact that we're getting multiple copies of her potentially between guild medals, uh, the free chest and everything, she's going to be more usable on all accounts. But wait, don't just pick her yet. I want to have a video tomorrow talking about Reinier versus here, her, the advantages, disadvantages, and everything in between. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.